Friday, Peter Obi go UK for entering airport, then detainer. If I tell as he there for queue, no, 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 that man on the post now, nah. as he there for queue to wait for his own turn, so they can't tell me to separate and come out for the queue. Tell her, say, he's under detention for questioning. Now he follow them, oh. people there outside, they wait for him, because people were there to receive him. Now he go follow them, oh. when he follow them, read there, and they can't detain her for hours. They, they question in person. They talk, say, someone else is using his document in the UK. That how come Peter Obi is in is in the UK and is in Nigeria? How come is is the same is is one is one document but two people are using it? That is the work of the UK immigration to investigate. Some that have lived in UK for years, many years, even have a company in the UK, and someone else is not using it. It's good though. Thank God, say Peter Obi go UK. Now God to make it go. I wish to that person. Come go use that document and take a carry drug. Take can do big crime. There was there will have been no way for him to defend himself that he was not the one. But now it he don't show now say he is not the one. NBC just carry Peter Obi document package and give unto a strange person. Make it a use for UK. Tell they commit evil. Not be that airport, not be that person pass. Why the UK government, why they not arrest them? This is the handwork of all these Festus Kayamu and Co. Because if, if Festus Kayamu, a BFFK, fit come out boldly, publicly, write them as say, Peter Obi should leave Nigeria. Or, how can you ask? A Nigerian to leave his own country just because he's contesting the 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 out the outcome of the result of a, of the president election. You are telling him to leave the country. How dare you? Not knowing that they are planning all these things, they have been planning evil. Where do they not feel bring combat before the election? Now I call the Zolo. They find what to use to, to nail him down. To find what to use to make him become a criminal that he has never been. Now Peter Obi can defend himself for say, lie, lie, yo. That one not be you. Now he be this one. This is the last time he visited UK. Before this very uh, uh, Easter Friday. So he has not visited UK for so, so and so time. This is the last time he visited UK. He, 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 they said that now for hours. Just imagine. These, uh, People, uh, where can they wait for them for outside? Now come blow alarm. Say, what is this man still doing there? Uh, Are you people interrogating him for what? They can say, impersonating that someone else uh, is using his document in the UK. Just imagine. You know, all these are the plan of the APC. This is exactly what they did to Apostle Joe Suleiman when he kicked against their evil plans in Nigeria. Una see and now say these people they have structure of criminality in Nigeria. They say they have which kind of which kind of yeah, evil structure be that one. Just imagine though. Can't imagine say Peter Obin a person now we not get level. If I just go prison for what he not know anything about, of which the evil people where they plan all these things, they know their self. They are the same people, the people in government. They go to bring out old old conversation between him and the and the and the and the Adebayo. Is that what people are going to use in the courts? That is not what we are. We are contesting the outcome of the result that declared Tinubu as the president of Nigeria. That is what we are contesting, and not from conversation that he has. With a, a, a man of God so telling him to pray, pray, for, pray for him and ask his neighbor to vote for him. Is that wrong? There is nothing wrong about that audio. That is what federal government is saying that they are going to use it in the court against Peter Obi. We are waiting. Look, eh, this matter eh, is dead in the hand of the judge in Nigeria. 
if Nigeria eh, go stand still at the hand of the judge and the and the magistrate night day, we are all hoping on you people. Please leave a good legacy for your children, because the youths are hoping on you on this matter. Because if now for make federal government judge, they go they go buy everybody carry mandates. But we are hoping on the on the Nigeria judiciary to please do the right thing. And stop all this intimidation on this man. He has done nothing wrong to you people. Leave him alone. To look at this. Me, I live in America and I watch when they talk for arrest television. You say, see what thing happened to Peter Obi for UK on Friday. Friday, which was uh, uh, Easter Friday. Just imagine. Thank God that he went to UK. If not, then they forgot to carry that document now. They carry market, they carry drug, because they are finding every means to, to bring, to nail him down. They don't see because why? He is zero corruption. He is zero criminal. He is zero, he is anti-Wester. Which you people cannot be able to defend in your generation to come. We are waiting for you people in the court. You said go to court and we are in court. What is all this problem all about? Make a live and make a watch the video. This morning, Mr. Peter B, through uh, Dironi Fadi, has our cause to issue a statement that when he traveled to London during uh, Easter on Good Friday, that he was uh, more or less detained at the airport because somebody had been using his identity. Okay, and uh, the statement by Dironi Fadi pointed out that this is part of the harassment, intimidation that... Uh, you know, Mr. Peter B has been subjected to, including impersonation in the United States. All right, guys, Omo, you don't really don't scatter everywhere for social media. They have come out with another agenda to bring Peter Obi down, but it is not going to work. Someone is impersonating Peter Obi's identity, using it to travel all over the world. Guys, Peter Obi traveled on Friday. He was detained on the airport because someone is using his identity already. This is really not good for Peter Obi, but we know people who are behind it. It is not going to work. Guys, APC has finally responded to the petition that Peter Obi and other political parties wrote against them concerning the 2023 presidential election. And INEC has come out to wind his mouth again after everything they did to rig this election. They have come out to say that Peter Obi and Labour Party has no chance to win this case in the court. We will see how it will end. Watch the video and share the video, guys. Well, Dr. Bati, INEC have, has responded to the petitions made by uh, parties to the election tribunal. And of course, yesterday on prime time, we had uh, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie on the show with her comments there. Your thoughts on this? Okay, a basic uh, principle in any uh, legal matter is that you must hear the other side for purpose of justice, balance, equity. And uh, the principle is called uh, Audi Ataram Patam. You must hear the other side. So it is to be expected that INEC, having been joined as a respondent in the uh, uh, petition by the Labour Party, and Mr. Peter B would file its own response. And it's not only uh, INEC that has filed uh, uh, a response. The um, APC and uh, Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tinumbu, the presidential candidate of that party, declared president-elect, also filed a response uh, to that uh, petition. But the one you know, uh, that you introduce is the uh, response of INEC. And INEC, uh, through Mahmoud SAN, its counsel, you know, in responding, I said that, look, the prayers, the reliefs sought by uh, the Labour Party should not be granted uh, by the court. To the extent that they are, you know, in the view of INEC, nebulous, anachronistic, academic, big, ungrantable, unsustainable, you know, very robust, very, you know, uh, a long uh, delivery of adjectives there coming from uh, Mahmoud SAN. Uh, in the uh, response. And what are these, uh, you know, uh, grounds of petition by the Labour Party and Mr. Peter? One, uh, that uh, Bola Metinumbu was not validly elected.